pushing your fitness levels to the extreme. Betty Yu is in Pleasanton tonight to show us how we can go from sea level to a rocky mountain high. Yeah, Betty, I can already feel these um, endorphins surging. <laughs> how does this all work? <laughs> I'll tell you what, Veronica, you guys are keeping me in shape. My throat's a little dry, uh, but the air in here feels especially crisp and clean. We're at the quad in Pleasanton, but we might as well be in Aspen. Take a look at that board. They have lowered the oxygen in here to about 13%, but my lovely instructor here, Carlo Maravilla, promises us this is worth it because right now we are burning double the amount of calories as we would working out outside. Ready, set, go. This looks like any other gym class. You guys are going 20 more seconds. The weights, the stretches, the machines. <laughs> nice, keep that up. But this one literally takes you to a whole new level. You're winded right away. Definitely fatigued. Come on, fast as you can go. Your heart rate goes up. The oxygen in this room goes down and the air gets thinner. And some hope they do too. It's called high altitude training. The cool thing about this room is we're not obviously at 10,000 feet up in the mountains where we'd have to hike down or drive down. Once you step inside the AirFit studio at the quad, you're suddenly transported to, say, Denver or Half Dome. It's the altitude many pro athletes train at. A complex air filtration system sucks oxygen out of the room, so you breathe less of it. It's a way to up the intensity without having to go longer or to do more repetitions. Right now, this room is set so it feels like we're in Lake Tahoe. I've been spinning for about five minutes and I already feel the burn and that's the difference. You feel the burn faster in less time. The benefits from this training were people who like to suffer. You're going to get a much more intense workout during that short amount of time. Stanford doctor Grant Littman studies high altitude effects on the body. He says you'll probably feel super strong after one of these classes, but the long term effects are questionable. Because there's such a short exposure to this low oxygen environment, it's hard to say what's going to happen long term. Trainers say over time you get acclimated to the environment, and the shorter workouts protect your joints from injury. AirFit addict Michael Sherman says he's already seeing results after a month at the club. I feel like I'm just stronger and more uh, aerobically in shape. 20 seconds left, come on. And it gets better once you're outside and back on sea level. So you're going to feel a high. You're going to feel like, wow, I can move around a lot easier. I can breathe easier. We mentioned the Mile High Club, I guess, <laughs> in terms of working out. Okay, for the hardcore athletes, AirFit can crank the altitude up in this room to 20 2,000 feet high. That's higher than any peak in the state of California. And there are only two places in the country where you can do this, right here in the Bay Area and at another studio in Oregon. Veronica? <laughs> you know, I, I love you, but you just, you look so winded. <laughs> um, I can't keep up. <laughs> um, Betty, you know, I wanted to ask you, I hear what the doctor says, I hear what everybody there is saying, but can you really get the same results if you're working out at that gym versus maybe living in Big Bear and working out every day? Is that the same thing? Well, you know, if you take our class and compare it to, say, a class in Mammoth, one that lives and works there, those guys will still come out on top because phys physiologically, they have an advantage. They're there year round, but I tell you what, if we could live here in this room, if we could sleep here overnight. I think we'd come pretty close to those guys. <laughs> I don't know if you'd be enjoying that though, Betty. <laughs> you, you look like you're ready to throw the towel in, but you're such a good sport. Thanks so much. Oh, <laughs> good thank to you. see you. <laughs> All right.